Hey guys, in this session, we will implement a stack using two queues. A stack is first in last out based. That means any element you push first, that will be the last element to be taken out. On the other hand, a queue is first in first out. That means any element you push first, that will be the first element to be popped out. In such different behaviors, how can we implement a stack using queues? So in order to implement, we will take help of two queues. The first queue will act as a source on which we will do push and pop operations. The second queue will be a temporary queue. In order to keep the order expected by stack for push and pop operations, we need this temp queue. So in this process, we have to make either push operation costly or pop operation costly. We will see the first approach, and first approach, push operations costly. We will take an example and see how it is going to be. Let's say that we have taken two queues, Q1, Q2, the second queue. Anytime we insert, we will insert to Q2 first. That means let's say I have inserted 8. I inserted to Q2. Immediately, I will copy all the content to Q2. That means I will pop out from Q1 and push into Q2. Once this operation is done, I will swap the names. Now this became Q1 and this became Q2. So since here we have only one element, we don't see any extra element. Now in the second iteration, it's going to be my Q1 where it has one element, 8, and there is second Q which is empty now. In case if I have to pop, I will always perform from Q1 and this is my first element which is recent one, I'll take out this. Now let's say I'm inserting another element which is 10. So I have pushed to Q2, then immediately I move all the elements from Q1 to Q2. In this case, I'll move 8 here and swap the names. Now in the third iteration, Q1 will have 10 and 8 and q2 will have nothing in case if i have to pop any element the recent one was 10 and this is the one we will pop out let's say i'm inserting another element 12 now again i'll pop out one by one and add it to q2 that means here it is going to be 10 and 8 and i'll swap the names again so uh, Q1 will have 12, 10 and 8 and Q2 will be empty. In order to perform pop, I always perform on Q1 which will be the recently inserted order. If you notice, the order we inserted was, I mean the recent order we inserted was 12. 10, 18. So pop operations are simple but push operations are costly because we are copying data from one queue to another queue to satisfy the order expected by stack. Now discuss the second approach where we are making pop operations costly. So so in this case, again, uh, I'll go with an example. Let's say Q1, Q2, two Qs, and I always insert into Q1. I have inserted first element, which is eight. Second element also I have inserted, which is 12. While insert, while pushing, I don't perform anything. Now, while popping, what I do, I will, pop out elements from Q, Q1 and I will push it to Q2 till Q1 has only one element left out. That means in this case, I will push 8 here 
and I leave tool here and I'll delete this and I'll swap the names. Let's say that we have not performed any delete operation here. We'll insert more elements and we'll see how the result will be. Let's say that I have inserted more elements. Four elements are there. Now, the recent addition is eight. The first one added is 12. In, in stack, we have to delete always the recent additions, the recently pushed ones, that means eight. So to perform pop operations, what we need to do, pop out one by one. That means when you pop from a queue, you will get the first one inserted, that means 12. So you are going to insert 12, 2, 1. As we discussed, we will copy until there is only one element left. That means we copied these three elements. Now we delete this element, that means we will remove it from Q1 and we will swap the names. So after this iteration, Q1 will have 1, 2, 12 and Q2 will have nothing. So this is how we have to make either push or pop operations costly to achieve a stack implementation using two queues. Now let's write the code and see. Create a class, stack with queues. Now I'll, I'll create queue, which is an integer, q1, new link list. And I'll create another queue, which is q2. I also define a uh, size int size which is zero initially just to keep track of it both are private and size also private here so now public wide push so as discussed push operations to be going to be costly here in data so all I need to do is copy data to q2 q2 dot add data and increment the size now copy all data from q1 to q2 while q1 dot is empty is not empty we need to copy data so now q2 dot add q1 dot remove remove will remove the element and return set the returned value will be added to q2 so once it is done we need to swap the queues so i'll take a temp queue q and which is pointing to q1 so now q1 assign q2 to q1 and q2 will point to 10 so this is how we can copy data so now the another operation is pop public it should return in data pop so check if uh, q1 is empty so let's say that uh, we are not returning anything and we'll throw exception saying that the stack is empty. If not, I'll throw the
exception now if not size minus minus and return q1 dot remove so here the pop operations are simple only push operations are heavy now let's write a simple main method to test this code create an instance to this class sq now let's add a couple of elements q1 dot sq dot push 10 similarly we'll add uh, more elements here So now let's remove elements when we remove elements we'll print out what is the removed element also here system dot out dot println removed element plus sq dot pop so why is it unhandled exception we'll add it to the method signature we will do a couple of pops now let's run the code and see so now let's understand what exactly happened we inserted 10 54 67 23 45 now if we have to perform the order in which it has to pop out is recently inserted that means the first element to be deleted is 45 if you notice 45 has been taken out immediately after 45 it's supposed to be 23 and here it's written 23 the next element is 67 and it written 67 now we will update this code for our second approach where we have to make pop operations costly So since the push operation is going to be easy here, I'll just insert data into Q1. That means Q1 dot add data. I'll increment the size, size plus plus. On other hand, pop operations are going to be costly now. Check the Q size first. If Q1 dot is empty, throw an exception saying that there are no elements. the stack is empty so now what we do here except the first element one element rest all we will move to q2 that means while size not equal to one we will add all elements from q1 to q2 q2 dot add and q1 dot remove once and decrement the size size minus minus my bad uh, i need to use uh, q1 dot size rather using this parameter so we moved we, we update code here so now there is only one element left on q1 once we are out of this uh, while loop now remove that q1 dot remove and have that element which we need to return return value so once this is done dec de decrement the size size minus minus and now copy data i mean the uh, swap the q1 and q2 Q integer 10 equal to Q1 and Q1 points to and map it to Q2 and Q2 is pointing to temp now and return the value we removed already.
return return value let's run and see the result so it is as expected if you see the insertion order the recently inserted one was 45 that's the first thing to be deleted and 23 23 67 67 thanks for watching please subscribe to the channel